Well, welcome back to the Spartan Seamanship course. Uh, today we're going to be looking at winches and as you know winches are a key part of what happens on the boat. Without the mechanical advantage that winches provide none of what we want to do can happen. So we're going to look at the basic operation of winches. Here we've got two speed winches, three speed winches and three speed winches that are connected to the grinder. So those are very similar to smaller boats, obviously more speeds, more piece of equipment, but we want to know how to use them in a safe way because what we're dealing with here is rope which has a braking strain of 8,000 kilos and we're going to be operating it on the boat at about two thirds of that most of the time. So we're going to be operating these winches at the kind of loads where you could pick up a, a truck easily, you could pick up a couple trucks with this kind of uh, strength that these winches can employ. So we're going to be learning how to do it safely and how to do it in such a way that every time we do it there's, there's no risk to our feet. Fingers. Alongside this we're also going to be looking at different kind of loads that can come onto the winches. We have short loads and long loads with different kinds of operations on the boat and each of those creates a different kind of worry for the person operating the winch. We're going to have uh, how to operate a winch on your own, how to operate it with two people and how to operate it with one person on the winch as a trimmer and the other over here as a grinder. So let's get into it. Number one, we've got to make sure that the line coming into the winch has a fair lead and is entering the winch at the correct angle. That should be 15 degrees below or above horizontal. Secondly, we want to make sure the direction that the winch turns. It should be going clockwise. Very few boats have winches that go anti-clockwise. If they do have that, it's going to be drawn on the top with a big arrow. Check the direction of the winch turn with your hand before you lay up the rope if you don't want to make a mistake. As the rope goes onto the winch, one turn on the winch is the minimum you're ever going to use. That's the kind of amount that just lets you pull rope through. Two turns on the winch is a good amount for someone tailing a winch and trying to pull in rope at a high speed. We'll be looking at that later on, techniques that we use when we're jibing or when we're working with a spinnaker. Three turns is where things get interesting. That's Jack Johnson's little motto to us. Three is the magic number. Three is where friction starts to build up three turns on the winch which you'll identify by seeing four turns, two half turns and then two full turns. That's where the winch is actually starting to grab and starting to make some proper friction that we can use for mechanical advantage. Once we go beyond those three turns it's impossible to pull rope through quickly. Once we get to four, five, six turns that's loading up the drum, adding turns, that's when the winch is starting to work and we use the entire depth of the drum because that's how it was designed. That's where we're going to get the most advantage and the most protection from the load which could be thousands of kilos on the opposite side of the winch to you. Once we get to the top of the winch the rope is going to go up through the feeder, it's going to go into the jaws on the top of the winch and we're going to snug that tight to make sure the winch is completely self-tailing that rope for you. We finish off with a quick safety turn on top to make sure that the rope doesn't fall out of the winch. Now we come to releasing the winch and we have to know whether we've got a long load or a short load on the winch. If it's a short load then the rope is only going to move by a couple of feet maybe, something like a backstay and that's it. If it's a long load we need to be more cautious because long loads keep running, keep moving and this is when you can get sucked into the winch. Getting sucked into the winch is uh, possibly a light situation, not too bad, a little laceration, a little contusion, but can go as far as removing the skin from your fingers or actually giving you a kind of judo roll that throws you down the boat. We need to release the winch as carefully as we can. So we take that top safety turn off, no real worry there. We're just getting ready for the main affair, which is getting the line out of the top of the winch. That needs to be with constant pressure as the hand orbits the winch head. As we've got the winch then ready to go, our hand comes in with fingers peeled back away from the rope and we're ready to start easing the winch down and we'll have that big bang, bang, bang noise as the winch eases off and then as it starts to move more and more easily we can carefully take turns off the top of the winch and start to let the rope out quickly. This is something we need to practice on board the boat but I think you'll have a pretty good idea and be way ahead of the, the uh, team if you've already absorbed these facts. We've got two speed winches which just have two directions of travel for the winch handle. We've got three speed winches with the button on the side that gives us high speed, utility and a high torque trimming mode and we have the grinder which needs to be engaged with the two clutch buttons on the on the deck which then allow one or other winches port or starboard to be engaged. 
When we're working with the winches at all time, we want to be very careful of body position and very careful that we're engaging as many muscles as possible so we don't damage any smaller muscles which may not be used to this kind of work. The last thing that we want to do is make sure that those winch handles are always safe. They're always either in the pocket, in the top of the winch, or they're in your hand. And when they go into the top of the winch, they're completely seated down at the top of them. It's not going to be very helpful for us if the winch handles slide off the side of the boat in the middle of the race. And as always, keep your head about you. Keep a keen eye on where that line is going, what that rope controls, what's on the other end of it. And then you can have a nice, safe, stress-free winching operation and uh, help us move the boat along faster. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, there's loads more to get into with winches. It's just a very basic intro to the kind of winches that we have here on this solo Round the World Open 60. If you like this kind of content, go below, subscribe, ring the bell, then you're gonna hear when we put another video out. If you've got any comments or questions, please put those below. I'm gonna be right here answering those questions as and when. And if you like this, check out some of the other videos. We're gonna be going through all the different parts of this boat, and later on, we're gonna be taking it out and showing you this thing powered up and how these lessons add up to being safe and fast on board the boat. Well, that's all for this uh, week. And wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope that you're safe and sound. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.